Hi guys, and welcome back, or welcome to Pig Palace. Today is kind of just a chill day. We're going, I'm gonna show you what pellets I use for my guinea pigs. And also, I just came back from a trip up north where I was so, I had someone help me sew some guinea pig pee pads. Honestly, they could have turned out a little bit better, but that's okay. Um, so let's jump into it. Okay, so first, let's start with the pellets. So I use the Essentials Adult Guinea Pig food. This is nice. My guinea pigs love it. Um, it has, it's by the brand of Oxbow. Next, um, I use Garden Select Adult Guinea Pig food, again by Oxbow. This one is a little bit healthier because it doesn't have any soy in it. My guinea pigs honestly don't mind this. They don't totally love it, but they don't also hate it. Oh yeah, their cage is kind of dirty because I just got back from my trip and I still haven't gotten a chance to clean it. Sorry, put that on my microphone. Okay, um, let's get into the pee pads. I think it's food time. Okay. Oh, um, actually, I'm not say that one today. Sorry. I mean, we kind of made a lot. The person who helped me, she also kind of made a lot. Just give me a second to pull them all out. and I might start making my own pee pads just as a little cheaper option and trying to make some just like different stuff to change it up. Okay, so this is probably one of the biggest pee pads that we made. I don't even, oh my gosh, I think it's like 19 by like 36 or something. This is huge. I am gonna be um, cleaning the cage, not a full clean, not a full cage clean, but just a spot clean. And I'll put some of the new pee pads in. But moving on, next is this one. It's definitely smaller. And I'll show you in the comparison of size. So this thing is huge, like compared to my body. It's like my feet up to a little bit over my waist. Okay, but that one just has, it's like the gray fabric with like guinea pigs on it. And then this one is cam camera. It has this like teal stuff on the back. It's not fleece. It's just like extra stuff to help absorb. Like this one, it has like natural stuff, but this one has some teal material. I'm not exactly sure what this is but it just helps absorb guinea pig pee um next another one with cameras it's basically just a square okay so this is my favorite fabric it's the hedgehogs i absolutely love this i think it's adorable this also has the mattress on the back this will actually fit this wooden house back here perfectly Next, it's just like a big square. Hedgehogs again, has like, has the teal stuff on the back. Okay, so this, we don't actually know what happened with this, but it's just really skinny. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use this for the bunk beds or just like extra spaces that just need a little bit of coverage, but it, it just turned out like really skinny and like long. So, okay, and then this one kind of turned into a runner. So basically you put this in like, like a longer space of area 
of their cage where they just like where like the fleas or just extra space for the where your like bath mats don't fit and you just put this that fits perfectly and it just makes it look so much nicer and I made another one of these skinny little guys I honestly don't know what happened but then next oh and don't judge the stitching right here on any of them we had to close it up somehow and it kind of got flatter but this is another big one this one is so soft this is like the fleece that this is my mom's favorite fleece it is so soft the guinea pigs will absolutely love that as a pee pad. Oh my gosh, we have three more left. Okay, and then this is also the really soft fleece, kind of just rectangle-ish. It'll also fit that house back there really nicely. This one is kind of just something you'd put under a water bottle or something, a little extra thick to absorb the water that drips out uh, you on that? Oh my gosh. that thing is literally on its last leg like it's this thin for its leg i would show you but i don't want to interrupt luna chewing on it right now um but this one it's just something to put in areas and then we made another one of those but it goes this way all right, I think that's finally it for pee pads. Oh my gosh, and then we still have all this extra fabric. So I think if I get a sewing machine in the future, I'll just play around with that, make different fabrics. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Okay, so this one is a little bit different. So I was like, Luna loves to like just snuggle up in a blanket and i was gonna make her a quilt but like out of the fleece with the stuff but that ended up not happening and we made it into a pee pad so we kind of just took all the yeah i'll get it up closer um we kind of just took all the different fabrics sewed them together and then sewed it on the the rest of the material i think it actually came out pretty cute it's nice honestly these corners though like this one got a little small and then like right here on the back i don't know why that happened but it's just like all scraggly and stuff and there's like loose thread oh my gosh sorry loose th loose threading and then on the front, it kind of turned out <laughs> that on the front. I don't know what happened here, but whatever, it'll do. But I feel like this one came out adorable. All right, so let me sweep up their cage and I'll see you back in a little bit and I'll show you where I put the pee pads. All right, guys, so this is their cage so i did end up using most of the pile of stuff as you can see or uh, pee pads so first starting off i used the big gray one then i used the camera one one of the hedgehog ones as a water bottle drip and i did end up cleaning the water bottles one is in the house. Hi, Lars. And their litter box is still kind of dirty, so I need to go through that, clean out some of the really peed out spots. Use a little run through. Okay, moving on to the bottom. So there is a towel on the ramp only because I had to clean their other thing because it was peed on. And now I can't get it to stay on so i have to use the towel until my dad gets back to our house to help me out with that but i did end up using the big blue 
pee pad on the bottom, as you can see, Tara. Hi, Tara. You and I want to say hi. And she's up. Okay. <laughs> Moving on, I did use the... Sorry if there's this, like, gate in the way. It's the cage wall. I just can't, like, take that one off. But the gray pee pads right here are... I did use them in the bunk beds. Then I ended up using two of these, the big square one and then the smaller rectangle one. And then I just used one of the pink ones that I already had with the wooden house. Mm -hmm. no. No. today's video as you may or not see on the sides of me my room was a complete mess and I really need to clean that up um but thank you for joining us for today's video make sure to subscribe and like for more videos and we'll see you next week oh my gosh daddy bye